So we're going to find, derive the cosine rule for a non-right angle triangle. The first thing we'll do is we'll label our vertices and corresponding lengths. Now we're going to label also the perpendicular height, which is from C to the base, and we'll call that H. And it meets the base at point X. So the distance from X to B we'll call the C minus X. And from A to X we'll call the length X. So we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem with triangle ACX. So X squared plus H squared equals B squared. Where B is the hypotenuse. And the triangle C XB will use C minus X squared plus H squared equals A squared. So we've used Pythagoras' theorem for the two right angle triangles. Now H is the same in both triangles. So we're going to make H the subject of both equations. So for equation 1, H squared is equal to B squared minus X squared. For equation 2, H squared is equal to A squared minus C minus X all squared. Again, the height is the same in both triangles, so the equations must be the same. So B squared minus X squared is equal to A squared minus C minus X squared. So what we're going to do now is multiply out the C minus X squared. So we get C squared minus 2CX plus X squared. And now we're going to multiply that out through a negative. So B squared minus X squared equals minus C squared plus 2CX minus X squared. We'll cancel out the negative x squared by adding x squared to both sides. So, b squared equals a squared minus c squared plus 2cx. Now, the point x is arbitrary. It's something that we put in. So, we're going to write what the point x is in terms of what we ought to know about the triangle. So in triangle ACX, the cosine of angle A is equal to the adjacent, which is X, over the hypotenuse B. So therefore, B cos A is equal to the length X. And we're going to put that back into our equation. So B squared equals A squared minus C squared plus 2BC cos A. We're going to rearrange that a little bit by saying that A squared equals B squared plus C squared, because you take it to the other side, minus 2BC cos A. And that is the cosine rule. Thank you.